G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Well, what a morning we've had so far this morning. Wake up to see that uh, a nasty cyber attack which appears to have emanated out of China is attacking Europe and the UK and parts of America and parts here in Australia. And uh, I see the NHS has had uh, a whole heap of patient records and systems under serious cyber attack. This, this worm that seems to have come out of China is... Uh, quite serious. So it probably bows into well that I'm talking about cyber security and we're going to look at a more in-depth review of Endian Firewall. Now yesterday I put up a quick review video of it and I spent most of later yesterday and a lot of last night and some of this morning doing some more testing, some more customization and and uh, overview of all the functions and, and stuff within the application. I've got to tell you, viewers, I seriously recommend you go and have a look at this. Um, I said this, I think, in a quick review from yesterday. I looked at these guys a couple of years ago, and I wasn't really impressed. I thought the systems were weak, and um, I've been proven wrong, definitely now. This community edition of Endian Firewall, which is freely available to download, is out of this world. And so what I thought we'd do now is go and have a look at some of the features in more depth and uh, basically inform you that this is the firewall that I'm sticking with. This beats the pants off PFSense. So... Where do we start? Well, let's start here with the dashboard, the friendly nature of the dashboard, the ease of which everything is displayed. You've got traffic graphs, both inbound and locally through the firewall, which gives you a better understanding of how your network's performing with reference to the outside world. Over here, we have a complete hardware information breakdown. We've got our settings breakdown, so what's on, what's off. Full traffic graphs, both what's coming out of your network and what's coming in and out of your WAN. So what this is here is the green is my local Ethernet and the red is the connection from the firewall to my modem. You see there it's all spiky. This by default blocks port 53 coming in, which is really good, especially for what I do. You've got your interface information here. You can set up... Uh, DMZs, public Wi-Fi accesses, that means it's outside of your local network. What your WAN's doing, your status, how much is coming in and out of each of the interfaces. On the fly, this isn't a delay, this is real-time um, monitoring of your uh, inbound and outbound traffic. If we scroll down um, to some more of the features, We've got event notifications here, so you can actually enable notifications for certain events as well as configure the events you want to be notified. We have web and SSH access as well as the ability uh, with my e-server, as you know, that has a uh, DB9 on it. We can actually have full serial shell access. We can do a backup of the system as well. Under the status heads, you've got full status of all the functions and, and statuses that are currently available. But what I do like are some of the statuses that you can get your hands on. Your system graphs of your performance of your hardware. Your traffic graphs over specific time frames, both inbound and outbound. You can see there I've got green and blue, orange, and then obviously my WAN out to my modem. You've got your proxy graphs if you're running proxy systems. And this was the big selling point for me off the bat with no customization or configuration. This is your connection status which is updated on the fly. You'll see here that it tells you whether it's established, whether it's waiting, in here whether it's been accepted or rejected. You can also click on specific IP addresses and it'll tell you what it's actually for. So if we say click on this one here, 
it'll give you a who is straight away. You can see there it's uh, Amazon Technologies Incorporated. Viewers, I really, really think if you are running some sort of network, whether it be a domain or a work group or something, you seriously go and have a look at this firewall and test it out to see if it fits your environment. You also have VPN connection status, I have none. Full SMTP, now this firewall can act as an SMTP server between the outside world and your exchange service if you have exchange or some other equivalent system. You can have a look at the mail queues if you've got that configured. The firewall hearing is absolutely tremendous. This is just um, uh, a, an excellent firewall with full, full customization and one-to-one -one configuration. You'll see here we've got full HTT proxy, including a full web filter. And this is another thing that's really handy. You can block groups of site depending on their um, header name so what they are in reference to as you can see here so you can block allow or drop certain sites you can actually have the firewall join your active domain or your local domain service if you wish now in my case obviously with BSD this would join my Samba domain and you have full HTTPS proxy configuration as well you can see all setups down there under the proxy and full VPN open tunnel split tunnel IPsec authentication and as well as certificates which you can either generate generics or use the specific SSL certificates if you wish I've got to be honest with you and you all know that I have been a big rap for PFSense, but this is just so much easier to use. It's as hard, if not harder, from a security point of view as PFSense, but it's configuration, it's intuitiveness, it's ease to work with, it's customization, a major selling points from my point of view. So as I said, viewers, go and have a look at it, see if it suits your environment. Now, if you remember back to my firewalling video, I indicated at the time that you really need to pick a firewall that suits you. My friend at his computer business and I have been testing this at his office. And for his business, this works like a charm. So much so that I, because I know his network topology, I have mimicked a similar setup here. And it works. If uh, Indian themselves are watching this, or any of my viewers know any of the development team at Endian, please pass on my congratulations to the community, the development developers there at Endian, because this is just one right out of the bloody box. It really is. As I said, go and see, go and have a play with it, check it out, see if it suits your environment. Um, I, I, I wouldn't say it won't, but I'd say for a lot of people out there, Indian, not just community, but I've also tested their virtual appliances, which you're able to have a play with on the website, and it is just a magnificent system. It's extremely intuitive. It is a very much a very hardened up firewall. Its intrusion prevention is spectacular and the amount of customization even in this version is nothing like I have seen before so as I said I'm not telling you to go and have a look at it I'm not selling it as you know I, I'm I'm talking from my point of view and as a recommendation from Backyard IT I recommend you go and have a play with it and see if it suits your environment with which it will be used in okay Anyway, there you go. Review of Endian Firewall. I hope that's helped out those that had a look at the quick product review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.